Hey, good afternoon. This is Steve K5JUF. Got a, another video I'm going to do for you uh, on some stuff I've learned uh, with the FT991A. What we're going to go over today is uh, what they call quick memory banks. So, quick memory banks uh, essentially are uh, five different frequencies that you can have in a uh, recall status where basically you can recall them. Uh, at any moment. Uh, so let me demonstrate what I currently have in the radio right now and it'll kind of give you an idea. So I apologize earlier I made a video and I had a focusing problem so I'm going to try something a little different this time. Hopefully the focusing will be a little better. But uh, the button we're going to be talking about today is what we call the RCL-STO button and that's recall store button. So I'm going to press it and when I do, it goes through and you notice it says QBA, Quick Memory Bank. So there's five frequencies I have in here. There's frequency number one, frequency number two, frequency number three, number four, and number five. And then we scroll back to the uh, first one again. So basically it's just a quick way to, uh, for example, if you're in VFO mode or if you're in the memory mode and and you want to go to uh, like I have my uh, quick memory bank frequencies are 2 meter no excuse me 10 meter and 6 meter so if I want to go talk on 10 meter I can just easily pop over here go to quick memory bank if I want to go to the calling frequency I can and then I can tune fine tune if I want to also go back into memory tune so let me show you how to put the frequencies in here. So you can put any five frequencies you want for quick reference or quick recall. Lock the VFO. So to do this, let me show you what I'm going to program into the radio as part of my example here. Again, I hope the focusing is better on this one. I... So what we're going to do is we're going to program these five channels. And I'm going to take number six and I'm going to move him. Actually, I'm just going to delete him. And I'm going to go through and program 28300, 28400, 29600, 5125, and 52525. So that's what we're going to program. Let me fix that right there. Now, uh, what we're going to do is first we're going to go ahead and go back over here to the radio and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to program frequency number one which is 28380 so I'm going to go to mode we're going to type we're going to be upper sideband then we're going to go to uh, band and we're going to enter 0283800. Press enter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to store it into a memory bank. So to do that I'm going to press and hold the recall STO button until it beeps. Now that's two beeps means it's now been stored into one of the quick memory banks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to program the second frequency and I'm just going to dial it in. Actually I'll just, uh, it's also USB. It's 0284000 and I'll press enter. Now this is going to be my second uh, frequency in the quick memory bank. So to add that I press and hold till we hear two beeps. Now the third frequency we're going to enter is 29600, but the difference is we're going to be in FM mode. So I need to change the mode to FM, and now I need to go to band, and I need to enter 029600. Press enter. We're in FM 29600, and I'm going to go ahead and press the and press the recall store and that's going to store it in the third location. 
Now the next frequency we're going to enter is a 6 meter frequency, so we're going to uh, go back to USB, upper sideband. And I'm going to go to and enter, and the frequency now is going to be 050125000. And we're in upper sideband, this is the calling frequency for 6 meter, press enter. Now I'm going to hold and press the button again. That's memory location number 4. And the last frequency we're going to enter is 52-525, which is FM. No, it's all, uh, yeah, 52525 is, I believe that's the FM calling frequency. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to band, and enter, 0, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 0, 0. Enter. And I need to change the mode to FM. I need to go back and re-enter the frequency. 0525200. Enter. We're in FM 525. Now I'm going to press and hold it again. Okay, that's the fifth memory location. So now to demonstrate we'll go through and I'm going to press the button quickly and we'll scroll, scroll through. So the first one we entered it's going backwards. So here's the very first one that we entered and I'll show you a trick here I think that's the first one we entered so if I, if I rotate the VFO to the right I believe It's going backwards, but that's okay. So you can basically get to any any of the quick memory bank frequencies that you've entered. So for example, if you're talking on a repeater and you all of a sudden decide that you want to go to 10 meter for some reason, you can easily do that. So if you're talking on a repeater and say, okay, well I want to go to 10 meter and make a call real quick, see if anything's going on. So I'm going to go to here, and there it is right there. I've got my quick memory bank. And I can scroll through. This 28380, this is one we use a lot of times for nets and things here in the area. Uh, that's the FM calling, but I'm going to go ahead and make a call here and see if there's any activity going on. I'm going to make sure my power level is at around 50 watts because I had to change power supply, so I'm going to change my power level down to 50 watts. And then I'm going to go back. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Now the other thing I can do is I can also tune the antenna. Um, to do that, press and hold the tuner button, and that'll go through and that'll tune the antenna. But I'm pretty close on my SWRs, they're actually pretty low. I've got a meter here to show you that. Ah, I can't really get to it, but that's fine. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. We'll scroll through here. Make sure we're between, I think, 10 and 20 is where they want us on this. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. KI5 JUF calling CQ10, CQ10, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. And the digital noise reduction is off. If I turn it on, it can help you bring in some of the some of the uh, sideband traffic. It's called DNR digital noise reduction. I'm gonna turn it back off. And if I wanted to go to FM, I could do that. I could uh, 
go back to memory channel mode and go to my next frequency which is FM I'll have to change uh, antennas real quick go to the 6 meter and I'll run my antenna tuner on this one and I'll make a call real quick Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10 and I also need to turn down my power here. I've got my power at 100 watts, so I need to turn that down. The power supply I have is not, my original power supply was damaged, so I'm going to turn my power down to 50 watts. My gain's at 38, that's normally where I leave it. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ10, CQ10, Kilo India 5. Excuse me, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ6, CQ6, KI5, JUF. Okay, so again, you can scroll through. Uh, remember, if you touch one of the buttons, if you will go back to memory channel, now we can scroll through. So, another thing I'll show you say, for example, you're on 28400 and you want to go off frequency because you've got a QSO going and you want to move down. You're in quick memory bank mode here, but if you simply turn the uh, VFO, you'll go into what they call memory tuning mode, or MT. So the memory tuning mode, basically, it's just telling you that now you have control over the, 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 the tuning of it. You can go anywhere you want on here. And if you want to go back, you can. So, in a nutshell, that's basically what quick memory bank programming is. Uh, it allows you to put in various frequencies, calling frequencies for different bands or whatever. That's the way I have it set up. And when you're done, you can go back to VFO mode. Uh, we can make a call here real quick and see. We'll lock the VFO. If you don't lock the VFO, every time you bump it, you go into memory tune. So what I like to do is I like to lock the VFO, especially when I'm in memory channels. And then you get back onto the memory channel and you just scroll through each one. Let's see if anybody's on the air right now. Kilo and U5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot monitoring. And no one's on the air right now, so anyway, that's my that's the video. It's just a quick one on quick memory banks. Uh, hope it was some help. Uh, they they are pretty nice. Again, I'm gonna just to demonstrate them. You can simply scroll through them, and it does remember your tuner location. Particularly if you use the antenna tuner, it will remember that. So that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll make some more this KF5 JUF Steve. So have a Good evening and we'll uh, talk again.